Ladies and gentlemen, ghost of a sawmill. It says, before the turn of the 20th century, these hills and valleys were dotted with sawmills, all frantically turning the great Sierra forests and the timbers for Virginia City mines, lumber for buildings throughout the valleys below. When I say valleys below, it's Eagle Valley, Carson Valley, like Carson City, Virginia City, you know. Um, it said, and cordwood for fueling extensive steam engine operations. This lumber business was paralleled by an equally booming water supply business, which I just showed you a mile back, the p old pipelines. In fact, because the water companies needed lumber for their flumes, and the sawmills needed water to run boilers, similar to this boiler in front of you, and transport logs, these companies often had overlapping board of directors. So everything went hand in hand. It says, historians have dated this sawmill operation prior to the turn of the century by the shapes of the nails. They are square, round nails were not used until the early 1900s. And by design of the boiler, the boiler operation may have occurred even earlier than the turn of the century, since most logging and cordwood operations seized in the 1880s, early 1880s. So you're looking at something from around the 1880s. It also says, right here if you look, this is how it would have looked. This conceptual drawing shows a possible use of steam boiler during the operation. If you really want to get more into the history, it says, This was the site of the Sierra Nevada Wood and Lumber Company sawmill that operated between the late 1870s and 1880s. Little is known about the Pacific Mill and all that remains are part of the steam boiler and abandoned roads, saw blade fragments, industrial tools, a platform of bricks and some domestic debris from Chinese mill workers. Let me tell you a little story. Some of the Chinese were not liked in this region. They were often murdered and their bodies were dumped in Lake Tahoe. It's, it's a sad truth. It's very sad. But... On the other hand, I mean, this is a historic site, and 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 it exists. It's over. It's over 120 years old. It's 130 years old. Dude, something's coming through the wood. Oh, <laughs> I got a little nervous. It's like his Bigfoot coming. But anyways, it said, did it produce timbers for water flumes for gold and silver mines, or did it just trim large logs for easier transportation to Washoe Valley? We are left to speculate its purpose. It says right here, metal fragments and pieces of glass near the old steam boiler. Hi. How are you doing? Pretty good. So, folks, this is, this is a very historic site. It is something I've wanted to see for two, three years. Uh, the dream has happened and uh jared's chilling out and i am just i am just delighted that i am able to enjoy this wonderful site now here's the old i mean the old path around it but i'll show you guys what it looks like from different angles because i i mean this is yeah, this is some western history these sawmills, there's nothing like it in the country. I mean, look, there's an old brick. Couple bricks. I mean, this is, I'm telling you right now, I mean, we worked hard to get here, but. It's amazing. And. You know, I was a little worried about would I find the old water pipelines, would I find the sawmill. Basically all I have left is the Hobart Reservoir. Looking for tracks, looking for a rock around, you know, the reservoir, check out the woods. But I have the Red House too. And I'm telling you right now, man, I mean, you're looking at wild western history. This is good for high school students who browse their site and want to write papers on sawmills and history. This is something that you can write about. This is this played a major part in the Comstock Lode, which had some of the richest mines in the world, some of the highest grade silver in the world. 
in some some pretty good gold quality gold too and you know they needed the sawmill to cut to cut the logs so they could transport them via flume to be loaded in Carson City on the VNT or Washoe Valley and taken up to Virginia City. This this sawmill played a role in the construction of Virginia City. Is it historical? Yes, it is. Um, I'm going to look for some other remnants. I want to see if I can find any of the remnants like on the plaque they had pieces of metal and tools and things. It's quite the possibility that they are all gone. There are people who thieve such sites. You know, they collect these relics of the past and it's kind of selfish, you know. It's these relics is what gives the place character. If you take them, then it kind of takes away from the place. So please do not take anything from this site. Anyways, this is your founder, Lord Rick, aka Angel by Night. Um Founder of the Paranormal Ghost Society, we're more than just a paranormal group. We're also a historic preservation organization, and that's one of our main goals. So, you have to understand that we're a force for a greater good. We're not out here just partying and having fun. We're really trying to make a difference, and we ask that you support our videos. I mean, if you're going to view our videos, give them a like. Give them a comment. You know, add in some of your own history or knowledge. But but be courteous to us. Because I'm telling you right now, you know, it took a lot of work for us to get to this location. And now that we're here, I don't have any regrets. I'm really delighted that we found this place. It was well worth finding. And we are in the National Forest, so you can see how thick the vegetation is. This is Bigfoot country for sure, for sure. And right in the middle of Bigfoot country is this sawmill. So you take a little history and a little mystery and boy, do you got yourself a wonderful adventure. This is McCowan Creek or McCowan Creek. It's very hard to get to, it's overgrown. But for every sawmill, you had to have a creek. And you really can't see it. You can sort of hear it. I wish, I wish getting back to it was a little easier, but... But that's the creek. The water is flowing. I'll show you an example because I can't seem to get to the you see the water flowing that steam boiler left behind from the sawmill people often refer to it more submarine like because it does look like a submarine but we are that's a pretty deep impression right there but uh, we're getting ready to leave the sawmill. And uh, that's the creek. You had to have the creek. But one last look at the sawmill. And uh, it's an amazing place. We took a nice lunch break here. See the rivets? Yeah, looking at about a 30, 40 foot tube. Wow. Not much remnants of the past. People have came here and they've taken the bricks, the glass, the metal tools. It's all gone. But we're going to head up the road. We're going to go to Hobart Reservoir. But first, we'll go past the reservoir and we'll hit what is known as uh, the Red House. It's an old cabin from, the, I believe the 1800s, I'll have to look at the history. But uh, very historic, and I think that people are gonna really grow to enjoy that place. 
it's got a lot of history you know and the thing is is that I can do EVPs because maybe the caretakers ghost still wanders the property I don't know but I do believe there's a few buildings on site an old via rusted vehicle from like decades ago but I mean this is more than just looking for Bigfoot or UFOs in the skies. There are ghosts that would haunt the old sawmill or possibly Red House. And so we'll check into it and we'll investigate and we'll be as thorough as we possibly can be. This is Lord Rick. Okay, time to head on out. Looks like we got a couple miles to the Red House. We'll have lunch, then we'll walk around the reservoir, check out the hidden secluded woods, see if we find any more Bigfoot tracks. Leaves are all red and yellow and changing. It's why I chill, waited till October to do this hike, because this is a mixed forest, which means lots of trees are changing colors. And it's October, and I kind of wanted to bring you a fall-themed investigation. Uh, just something for our fans and our followers. I'm out of here. Uh, peace. Peace, man. Peace. Peace. Later.